Okay guys, so today is the day. We're gonna get started on the decorating of the patio. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna clear off the patio and we're gonna get decorating. Hello there, it's your girl Daphne, I'm back with another video. This is part two of my patio makeover and we're getting started cleaning off the patio. I just want to say welcome to everyone. If you're new and just clicked on my video for the first time today, I want to say welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate everyone for watching my video and I hope you enjoy. Guys, I am in love with these rugs. I purchased them at the Christmas tree shop and I mentioned in part one that they were $29.99 and they're roughly about a 5'7 and I think that they fit the space perfectly. I didn't want too large of a rug because I still wanted to be able to see the beautiful pattern of the pavers, especially since I spent so much time power washing them. So now I'm just going to be putting all of the furniture, all the chairs back on the patio and then we're going to go from there. I'm going to have a quick break and I'm going to head inside and we're going to be working on a Cricut project. So I just wanted to mention this video is in partnership with Cricut and I'm going to be um, doing two projects on my new uh, Cricut Explore Air 2. Two projects that are definitely beginner level and I'm sure you will absolutely enjoy because I know that I enjoyed learning how to use the machine and making them. I just want to say a special thanks to Cricut for gifting me the Explore Air 2 and the Easy Press machine. I have wanted to have a Cricut machine for many years and I'm so excited to be able to do this partnership with them. Okay, so we're taking a quick break from the patio to just come in and create two quick projects that I'm going to use on the patio. The first one is going to be using these three uh, vases. I'm going to be putting little cute decals on them. One is a radish, one is a shovel, and one is a plant. I'm going to be using um, everyday vinyl, which is a really easy um, material to be able to work with, especially if you're a beginner like I am. And I also need the transfer sheet. I'm going to be using a lightweight grip mat. I'm going to walk you through the full process. It is extremely easy. This is actually only my second project that I've done and it's very easy. Cricut makes it very easy for beginners to get their feet wet and to learn as they go. Okay, so we are in design spaces and I picked um, very simple images, just one layer and cut only. So. We're going to go to make it and we're going to see how they would arrange it on the mat to make it. Okay, so what I need to do is cancel this, come back here and do color sync so that I can have them all on the same mat. So I'm just dragging them up top so that will allow me to use one cut and hopefully it will put it all on one mat okay so now it's all on one mat and the dimension that I need to cut my paper is roughly three by six to be able to get the best 
utilization. I think I might go back and make an adjustment on the radish. So we'll just go back, we'll cancel that. We're just gonna make the radish a little smaller of an image because it's so big. And I think, yeah, it keeps all of that information there. So now we'll just go and make it. And now it's saying that I need two and a half by six. So I'm gonna prepare that mat. So what I did was I just cut the vinyl out to the dimensions that was listed in the program, which was two and a half by six. And I applied it in the top corner of the mat. And that is it. You just put it in, you press load, it really like walks you through the step. You hit load, then the machine pops on with the little cricket sign, and that's just the start button. It feeds it in and it, it um, cuts your project out. And then the next step is weeding. So you just use your little weeding tool and you pull off all of the material that is excess to your pattern. Once you're finished weeding, then you just cut out the same dimension of a transfer sheet and you just stick it down, sticky side down on the material, and then you just transfer the weeded portion from that paper to the transfer sheet. And the transfer sheet is clear, it has grid lines on it, so it's going to make it really easy for you to be able to line up on your blank. In this case, my blank is a vase, so I've already prepared it. I've used a little um, alcohol to make the um, surface easy to have the transfer. And then I'm just using one of these little scrapers to be able to stick the decal down. And then once you have it all like scraped down and flat, then you're just going to pull off the transfer sheet and your project is finished. My second project is going to be an iron-on project. So I went to Design Space and I selected the image and I also did some freehand typing because I wanted to do Daphne's homescape and I wanted to say hello. So you go through the same process. You size it to the dimensions that you want and in this case because it's an iron-on you hit the button as mirrored because when you do the transfer, because it's gonna be ironed on, it needs to be the reverse. So I've already done the weeding. I have my little transfer there. As you can see, it's reverse. I'm gonna be using the Easy Press Mat. I have a cotton canvas, which is my blank. And then we're also using um, the Easy Press. So I've already, checked the correct temperature that I should be using for the cotton vinyl, which is 340 degrees. I'm prepping my surface. So whenever you do a new project, you just wanna make sure that it's really flat. So I just use the heat press for about 15 seconds on just the, the canvas bag. Now I'm going in and I'm placing my um, decal. And as you can see, it's right side now because the sticky side is down because that's what's gonna be sticking to the actual canvas. So it's set at 340 degrees and it also is set on a 30 second timer. So because the actual artwork is a little bigger, I have to do it in sections. And then, so once you do the 30 seconds on the full artwork, you want to return, you want to turn the project over to the back side and also heat it for 15 seconds. Because this material, you should be removing the transfer while hot. I then just removed it and you can see the final results. Now you know my next project is going to say hello there.
so the other day I went to Lowe's and I picked up all of these lovely plants I'm going to be doing a couple arrangements uh, for the patio as well as putting some in the landscape and some of some of the flower beds Okay, so this is it's actually two uh, coral bells that I've had previously. I actually put them in a pot last year because I was rehabbing them. So I'm going to be dividing them and I'm going to be putting them inside of this um, flower bed which is in the back of my yard. So I'm just going to be making two holes and then I'm going to pop them in the ground. I'm going to be putting a little plant tone fertilizer on them and then I'm going to mulch the entire uh, flower bed. So as I said previously, I'm going to be using um, brown mulch in the flower beds and pine straw along the sides. So leave me a comment down below. Do you use mulch or what type of uh, covering material will you be using in your yard this year? So we're just going to be painting up a couple of items that we're going to be using on the patio. One is that little ladder. I don't even know where I got it from. I've had it. It's been on my side patio for years now. So I have a choice of all of these paints here and I decided that I'm going to do the dark walnut. So I'm just going to clean everything off and then I'm going to go in and spray it down. And I'm doing about two to three coats, but they're light coats and I'm waiting in between about 20 minutes for them to dry. Now while I was waiting for the paint to dry, I headed back to the beds and I worked on this bed here. Now what I did was I divided this lovely uh, Corabelle here on the right hand side. It was one large plant, so I just separated into two. Does anyone else have the same problem that I do? You start on something and you just start working on everything all at once. Well, that's what I usually do. That's why it takes me so long to complete tasks. So now I'm moving on over to this flower bed, which is on the left hand side closer to my house. I popped in some Dusty Miller and a rose columbine and I just put a layer of fresh mulch. Now once I finished that I looked over to my right hand planter and I realized that I needed to extend it because the grass always kills um, the ornamental grass always gets so large and kills this portion of the actual grass so what I did was I just extended the bed and rounded it out about a foot uh, larger 
and then I just roughly put down the paver stones it's not perfect I'm not a stone mason I'm just learning as I go and making the best of it so I also wanted to move this daylily so that it has a little more space because it was really too close to the ornamental grass and then I popped in a couple more of the dusty millers and I did a layer of mulch okay guys I promise strictly patio from now on so I finished um, potting up the balance of the plants and I'm just going to be arranging the pots um, in different areas on the patio So if you are new or if you're returning and you have not introduced yourself yet, please leave me a comment down below. Just introduce yourself. Let me know where you're from. I really like to formally welcome you to my channel. So I love to layer my mats, but I didn't want to go with the basic buffalo check. So I just have this really cute beige two-tone um, underlay mat. And then I have this really cute blue mat um, that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, just to give it a little color. And we're going to move on over to decorating um, the large table and what we're going to do is we're just going to put on all of the pillows tie them down wipe off the top of the um, table and then we'll go from there so i'm going to be leaving links in the description so that you can get more information on the cricut machines their materials It'll have discounts. Um, I also will link the affiliate program if you're looking to be an affiliate for Cricut. And just learning about um, what type of machine you might want, um, the materials, different projects that you can make. It's really a lot of fun, so I'll leave all of that uh, linked in my description. Okay, so these are all the goodies that I'm going to be decorating with. Some of them I've made and some of them I've purchased. So here we go. This is my little serving station. I use it as a bar and also snacks and you know all sorts of um, random items. Um, I just like to have everything out on the patio so that I don't have to run back and forth within the house when we're entertaining. So I'm just going to incorporate a little decorative and also functional items here on the bar cart. So guys, if you have not watched um, my previous DIY video where I made most of the decorative items that I'm using today on the patio, I will link it in the cards so that you can check it out. 
get some ideas of decorations that you can make um, for your home, for the patio, for indoors, for outdoors, for Mother's Day, weddings. It's very versatile um, DIY, so I hope you enjoy it. So here we are. This is the final reveal. I hope you guys enjoy. I know I really enjoyed decorating, cleaning, and now putting everything together and sharing with you. So leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed, what areas you like the best, and what your overall um, opinion is on my patio. Now make sure you wait to the end because I'm going to be showing images of how it's all lit up at night. We actually put in um, patio lighting last year and because of the pandemic, we haven't been able to share it with our friends and family, but hopefully this year we'll be able to put those patio lights into work. couldn't leave out my Daphne's Homescape Hello bag, which I will be wearing all over the place. I truly like to thank you for coming along on this journey with me cleaning and decorating my patio and backyard. I like to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And also to share with any friends and family that might like my content. And until the next time, have a blessed day.